it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. This week I'm bringing you a series of cool cement projects. If you're new to working with cement, I recommend checking out my DIY cement planters video over on my Sea Lemon channel. There are some tips in that video like what type of cement I like to purchase and you can use those planters as candle holders as well. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make some fall inspired cement candle holders. These are perfect for holding tea lights or you can include a larger candle if you prefer or you can use a larger mold to customize it to hold multiple tea lights. Okay, let's get into it. For this single tea light holder, I'm using a paper coffee cup for the mold and craft foam to make a fall leaf design. I'm going to draw out a couple of leaves with a pencil and then press hard on the lines that I made so that it creates an embossed look. Then trim those out and on the back of the leaves, add pieces of double-sided sticky tape. Then with the leaf design facing in toward the center of the cup, stick them inside. Now for this next candle mold, I'm using an empty milk carton. And cut the top off so that there's an easier opening to pour the cement in. To make the candle shape for the inside, I traced my candle onto a piece of craft foam. And did this twice so that I can fit two candles into the holder. So I cut two circles for the bottom and then a strip so that I can wrap it around the candle to get its shape. And taped all the pieces in place with the candle inside. I used craft foam because it's much easier to remove when the cement is dry. You can remove the candle once your shape is all taped in place, and then I'm going to do one more step which makes it even easier to remove from dry cement, and that's vegetable oil. So I'm just going to brush on a coat of vegetable oil on any pieces of the craft foam. And for the other candle holder, I wanted to see if masking tape would also remove just as easily, so I coated that one in vegetable oil as well, and did the craft foam ones but you will later see that the craft foam is better. Now to mix the cement. Pour your cement into a large bowl and just add water as much as you need. There really is no perfect measurement. It's just you want to keep stirring in water and cement until you achieve a peanut butter consistency. Pour the cement into the mold, then push the candle mold in and you can also tap your container to release any air bubbles. The candle mold might float up while it dries, so you can put a weight on top of it so it stays in place. I did the same thing for the square mold, but for this one I'm using fall colored glass cut tiles to make a mosaic on top. And added some weight to the tea light holders, like nail polish bottles make the perfect size for these, so I put those in and let the cement dry for 24 hours. After those are dry, now it's time to reveal the final holder, so I removed all of the molds. Wiped any cement haze from the glass tiles with a wet paper towel and filed off any rough, sharp edges. The mold without craft foam was not as easy to remove, so I had to use a pair of pliers to kind of twist it out. But the rest of the mold came off pretty smooth, and then I just filed down any rough edges on the top. I really love fall scented candles, so I can't wait to start using these. I would love to know what your favorite fall scent is. Mine is an apple or cinnamon and pumpkin. I basically like all of the fall scents really. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you make any cement projects, I would love to see your pictures. So add a hashtag HGTV handmade to those. Be sure to subscribe and for another cement type project, check out Marianne's concrete planters right here and I will see you soon with another cool cement project. Bye!